Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do a video that is one of the videos on my channel that gets a lot of, uh, a lot of comments, a lot of suggestions, a lot of opinions, and that is the Dilutions paint that looks like cottage cheese. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you'll know that I have, um, many Dilution paints and a lot of them are cottage cheese. Now I wrote to the company and um, they did send me uh, three different uh, replacements for three colors. However, I have <laughs> this many that are cottage cheesy. So um, that's the blue. So what I did was a lot of you suggested to put water in and I did, and it didn't help. So I put in another section of water. Now I do have a video, uh, that I did not put up, which it ended up being long, um, of each one of these and me putting the water in and testing them after the first batch of water and then doing it again. But the video will be an hour. So I figured we're just going to go in. This is double dose of water and we're going to see how they come out and if they're usable or not. Worst case scenario, I will empty out the paint and um, use the containers for, I don't know, for something. So I'm sure I could find something for beads, you know, that kind of thing. So this is the Dilutions in Lemon Zest. So yeah, I wrote them again. There we go. Look at that. And um, they just wrote back and said, thank you for letting us know. <laughs> so I got all this paint here that I spent uh, quite a pretty penny on and um, for nothing. So you could see it's puffy. It puffed up, but it's still, and then we got this little thing there. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to see, because a lot of you said, oh, just put water in it and it will come back up. So I'm smushing it down to see maybe those will smush out. You know what I mean? So let's smush it. Okay. All right. Here we go in and meh. I mean, it got those little, I'm going to do this though. I'm going to do this and let's see, I'm just going to go back and forth for a second and then we'll leave it dry and see, but you could see it's still very gross. It did plump. I wish I could find a uh, face cream that I could put on that would plump up my skin like that. So that's number one. Excuse my arm. I'm going to just give it a little rinse and we're back. Okay. So I don't care if the colors mix a little bit, you know, cause I just don't have all day. So playing with this black marble. I don't know why I tap it. It's like when I play cards, good luck. I think I'm Lisa. Oh my, that didn't suck any of it in. Oh no, no, that's hard as a rock in there underneath. So but I'm digging. Yeah, that's, this is what it's like underneath. It's like lacquer. So you could see it's like watercolor, but it has like a texture in there. So we'll see how that's going to dry this piece. I'm not quite sure what, what's going on there. No, no, that's not gonna. Okay. So that's that. Oh, is that yummy? I'm just going to rinse that. Get those chunks there. Okay. I mean, I could probably play splat with that. Oh, and she rhymes. going to just kind of rinse that out. Give it a swipe. Put that on there and oh, let's move on. Uh, we'll do white last. This is crushed grape. Oh. Sarah Mills. It's a mushy too. It did not absorb. I'm stirring it. Let's see. Okay. Just stirring it around like a polenta. Okay, these big pieces aren't going in. Let's see what we got. So you can see it's not going to be opaque just because it's, I don't know, it's just not mixing. 
but I mean, to use like as a background or something, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll try. So that's the purple. Oh, it stinks. It smells like throw up. Whew. Like sour milk. Oh God, help me. Okay. That's not a, that's not an enjoyable one, but we could see what it's doing there. Okay. So next, who girl. Okay. So this is London blue. London calling. Oh, let's see. Hmm. And I, I don't know if you can see, but it kind of like it's dark blue in there. I don't know why the color come out like that, but let's see what we got. It's mushy. I'm going to mix it. It's very plasticky, like um, caulky. Silicone-y maybe is the better word. Okay. All right, that's crumbly as well. Usable. But it does come, you know, it does crumble everywhere, but definitely usable. For that, I mean, I don't know how much you'll get out of these. Using them, but I can smear them on a background. So let's do a rinse and a wipe. Okay. And let's continue. But you can see, like, it's they're crumbly. This is post box red. Same thing. Mushy. So I'm mixing it. Okay. It got the crumbs on there too, but I'm gonna lightly wipe it off. But you could see I could use that as a as a background, like I said. We'll see how much we can get out of there. Maybe, you know, a few, a few good backgrounds. Cause I have some big canvases here I want to do. So I can always do that. My favorite color, fresh lime. Mmm, delish. Okay. Oh, he popped out hard to get like okay. some of these I'll probably just get rid of like probably this color that's not very a very good color now I'm wondering I'll leave that there maybe I'll try something real quick at the end it's just not getting the color you know what I mean so that one's like a a poopy one and what I'm going to do is, I see another green here. Let's go in. Well, we got green on the brush. Same thing. It's a little more pliable. ASMR. You just don't get much. Color out. Okay. Another big chunk came out right there. Okay. And what else do we have? We did these ones. So we're doing, we got blue, pink. I did red. Okay. And white. So go red song. And let's do the bubblegum pink. Okay. I don't exactly know what to do with this. This probably will be another one that we throw away, but I'm going to mix it and see. Maybe I can get it off like um, as if it's like a dried cake, like watercolor kind of thing. Let's see. Because I think essentially these are just acrylic paints and acrylic when they dry, they have like that plastic in them. So I think that's kind of, he squirted. Okay. 
So I think essentially that's what these are doing is they're drawing like that, but there's really, you can't like break in there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That's the pink. So I don't know. That'll probably end up being one that we uh, get rid of. Scrape out, save the container, like I said, for beads or what what have you. Another product that I need. All right. This is Vibrant Turquoise, which I'm so sad about this. Oh, come on, baby, work for me. Okay. All right. All right. Mix in. Mix in. I'm going to scrape it. Still chunky, but let's see. All right. Usable. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. I mean, that's a nice thick one. Like I said, I don't know how much we'll get out of it, but again, I can... I'm afraid if I put too like more water in there, it's just not gonna. You can see some of them already have so much water in them. Okay. Next, this one squeezed orange. Okay. Oh, all right. That one wasn't all the way chunky, but um, I put a little bit of water in there. So you can see like it's chunky underneath a little bit, but you can still get good color. So I'm okay with that, you know, just to kind of throw around. And then we have white. Oh, itchy. And that's white. Oh, what do I do with my brush? Okay. Very chunky. You can see it's pulling away. I don't think that's going to do anything. Again, got a nice little chunks out of there, but that's, I don't, uh, I don't think there's much going to happen with that. So that is where we're at. I think that's all of them. That's where we're at. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where is, let me see if I have a, um, scrape, my scraper, scrape, scrape. I want to scrape this green and black and see like if it can be I mean you can see you can kind of scrape it I mean it's like plasticky but it depends on I guess what it dries as could be a little bit of texture let's try the black Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's kind of, hmm. okay. So anyway, I don't know what to, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, I'll probably use the blue, the orange, the red, the, this blue. Maybe the yellow, I don't know, that's struggling. And maybe the green, I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean, I, it, it will depend on um, kind of throwing, you know, see what they do. But uh, the black, I think, is going to go. This green's going to go. The white, I think, is definitely going to go because I don't think there's any save in that. But, yeah, so I did what you guys suggested. But like I said, if you guys, I know a lot of you have written me and said that you have a lot of paint as well that went bad. 
and that Ranger doesn't answer you as well. Um, you know, I don't exactly know why. I know sometimes they'll say, oh, it's too long. You've had it too long. It goes bad, whatever. I've had plaid paint since, <laughs> um, and, and plaid paint. And what is the other one? Not fo uh, folk arts plaid. No, 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 no. Oh crap. What's the other name? Amer no, not Americana. Oh, I can't remember the name right now. Anyway, um, from years and years and years and years ago. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's something in there that makes it very uh, opaque or something. I don't know. That goes bad. But like I said, I will empty out the ones I'm not going to use that cannot be fixed. And I'll play around with these and see what I can do as far as the background. Um, but don't throw yours away. Do put water in them and leave them sit and, you know, stir them. And then a little bit more water if you need it. And see what ones you can salvage. And, you know, some of the things that maybe you can do with it um, other than just straight paint with it. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe you'll get, you know, come up with a new thing. Like I said, look, you could see I scraped here. That's pretty cool looking. Leave it dry. You get something there. So you never know. But, yeah, I've, you know, I, I don't know what else to do. But I won't waste it. Like I said, I'll use the ones that that work. So that is it. Well, let me know what you guys think down below. And, you know, for whatever reason, if uh, these went bad on you and you did something else other than water to make them work again. Like I said, I think they're uh, like a plastic kind of thing. And once they dry, they go plasticky. Who knows? As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.